Dimitri, <coughs> many congratulations. Thank you. Into another quarter final, tough assignment against A. Chisnell. How would you assess that one? You just said the words, a tough assignment. Um, obviously, we all know Dave is a fantastic player. He's done an amazing year already. So for me, yeah, the nurse was definitely there. I've been told though yesterday in the interview that I've played Dave before, I managed to beat him in this um, way of tournament, this this um, yeah circuit, let's call it that way. So for me, it was like, oh, that, yeah, you're right. I have beaten Dave already in the past before. For me, it felt that Dave was a lot nervous than I was. I was trying to keep the focus. I was expecting 180 every shot that Dave was going on. Because I'm telling you, me and Dave played a lot of times this year against each other on the Pro Tour, and every time again he won against me until the last game, I've, if I'm correct, uh, then I managed to play a 99 average, and finally I beat him again. I was like, oh, this is a relief. But then I'm standing, uh, sitting here in front of you guys, and I've got another win against Dave Chisnell, one of the best players in the world for at least a decade. Uh, that's incredible. I I'm buzzing. Another quarterfinal, get in there. So far, that's my best in, in all the tournaments that I've played uh, of, of the Grand Prix quarterfinal so yeah guys I just keep thinking it's just a game of darts because some reason it's working <laughs> you touched on the struggles that you've had this year and confidence being rock bottom mm. but here can this reignite your your whole year because you've had two great games you're into the quarterfinals is this the inspiration that you needed to get yourself back up to those Dimitri levels um, there are two reasons why my inspiration has changed, why my way of playing is a lot more relaxed. Uh, biggest reason, my family. I've got my brothers here. I've got my little daughter here, as far as I'm right. Um, then I've got also my sports drink. I uh, spoke to him after three weeks of playing darts. Uh, in these three weeks, there was Holland World Series Finals, Pro Tours, European Tour Hungary, Pro Tours, European Tour Basel, uh, Switzerland, Pro Tours. And for some reason, it all just went anything but right. And I was just telling myself, like, what's going on? Where's this coming from? And all of a sudden, I had a chat with him. And he just said to, myself, uh, said to me, like, Timmy, obviously, mentally, it ain't going as easy as, it, as you want it to be. So how about we just turn it into just play a game of darts? Your health is so much more important than playing a game of darts. You've got it in you, you've got the talent. This is something that you can do over a course of a cor uh, course of the year, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. We've got so many tournaments and I just looked at him and I'm like, why didn't I talk to you two weeks ago? He just gave me that relaxation of a feeling and I just keep telling myself that now. I did it in the game. I did it a game against Luke Wood. I was, if you miss your opportunities, why should you take it on board? Why should you keep feeling oh, I missed high chances and I said to myself it's just a game of darts and all of a sudden you forget about it and you just be busy with like oh my next three darts I'm gonna throw him I'm gonna enjoy it and at the minute guys thank you so much I'm enjoying it just something on you said there about obviously your health and everything like that was your form and perhaps overthinking it causing you to be ill um yeah definitely I was anything but telling myself I can do it I can do it no I wasn't I was like Ooh, another day, another game of darts. I have to try. And instead of saying, Timmy, it's just a game of darts, um, I was busy with, I want to perform. I want to do well. I want to get deep in the tournament. I want to win my first round. And all of a sudden, because I was thinking this way, my God, it felt like I was going from rock bottom to the third stage, uh, third level of um, a big apartment building. And the first thing I always tell to everybody is, Playing darts, it's all step by step. You can only go the stairs level by level. You cannot <coughs> jump all the way up because you're only putting yourself into a position that you don't want to be because that, that's going to be tough to maintain it. And I've learned that now in the last three weeks. Funny enough, I've already played in a decade on the tour, but I'm still learning, guys. So whoever's playing professional darts, whoever has got dreams, never stop learning. Give yourself the space of learning because I've definitely learned a lot of things. And now I'm sitting here get in another quarterfinal at a major that's so so amazing thank you Dimitri congratulations thank you guys Dimitri in the quarterfinals but we've probably not seen your top gear quite yet no um, that's something that can't be uh, you can't sort of not recognize and if you do reach that final gear how, how do you think you can go this week 
I don't know, guys. I'm just sitting here in front of you now uh, into a next round, next level, next uh, quarterfinal. I think I'm uh, doing really well on the majors. Um, for me, that was one of the dreams, but I was telling myself, Dave Chisnell, oh, what a cracking player. It's not going to be easy at all. And um, I think today has definitely helped me that I had a strong first opponent in the first round in uh, Luke Woodhouse. It was an amazing game. It was a very tough game. And then uh, we all know that Chizzy had... Yeah, a uh, walk in the park against uh, Cami. He didn't play the way we all know Cami has been doing this year. So I think that point, that moment, these experiences of this year, 2024, has helped me to win this game. I never gave up. I battled back. I went one all down in sets. But yeah, but guys, I'm sitting in front of you. You know, that, that's mental for me. I, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm really buzzing. And I hope that this confidence can keep me in the right direction to qualify for the European Championship because I am not even close for that one yet. But you know what? I'm qualified for the Grand Slam. So that's another positive thing for me that I haven't been doing the last three years. So positives, positives, positives. Keep positive. Coming into this tournament, was there the belief that you'd be at this stage? You'd no, sir. At this stage, just looking <laughs> at the form over the last few months. Especially about the last few months, no, sir. I was not expecting me to be here in this situation, but uh, my sports drink said to me, like, Demi, is very simple. You have been playing darts for so long. You have put so many practice hours in. When it comes to playing darts, there is one thing that's so much important, and that's your muscle memory. Your muscle memory know exactly how to hold your dart, how to hold the arm, and how to throw him. So why would you doubt yourself? And I was like, oh, you may maybe you're right. And he's like, well, you want to go to the gym, and that is only because you want to work on your muscles what do you reckon that your brain is it's a big muscle and i'm like yeah thanks for the lessons these are the things i need to hear and it's working guys i can only say it's working so i am proper buzzing thank you thank you demi you spoke earlier about having mike the decker out there and the crowd supporting you what's it yeah. like having another belgian again through to the quarterfinals and does it take a little bit of pressure off you a little bit of expectation off <laughs> as soon as he won his game my pressure only went up you know obviously the the first belgium tonight he played and let's just all put it out there mike was phenomenal against gary anderson i had a bit of uh, a chat with gary anderson afterwards and he was like fantastic what a what a player this guy was on fire he did everything right like who does that who gives gary anderson only five darts at a double in a best of five sets double start mike the decade did and i was like mate wow and then afterwards he said dimmy good luck you're a beast and i was just thinking are you talking about yourself or are you talking to me? You know, that, that man, that, that guy, he's a big talent. I've said it so many times, but now he's got the right people behind him that pushes him. And that's why we all are seeing a fantastic Mike the Decker over the last few months. And for me, I'm just buzzing to sit here and that me and Mike can focus on to tomorrow. And we will be playing quarterfinals at the Grand Prix. Come on, guys. What more do we want? We wanted to be in this position. We're loving it. You're in a really open bottom section of the draw. Are you sensing a big opportunity to repeat what we saw at the UK Open? Guys, it's very simple. Um, I'm focused on myself and I'm going to tell myself once again, I'm just going to play a game of darts. That's all you want to hear from me right now. And that's how I'm thinking. Thank you so Dimitri, much. Dimitri, you said that the belief wasn't there headed into this tournament. After two great wins, is the belief now there that you can go all the way on Sunday and lift the trophy? I will think about it when the tournament is over. But at the minute, um, I've started the tournament in some sort of way, and I want to continue it. As far as we can tell, it's working. So I'm just going to keep thinking it's just a game of dollars that I'm going to play, which means that I'm feeling not really a lot of pressure. I'm just going up there, and I want to enjoy the experience. I cannot wait to go back on my phone and talk to my family back home. Everybody 100% must be loving it. Um, so yeah, Belgium. I want to talk to you in a few minutes. Thank you. <laughs> and with the amount of tough moments that you've had this year, is this the hardest you've had to work since you've joined the tour to really get back to your best? To be honest, I'm not really working hard. I am just playing a game of darts. It is so weird. I love to be a player who works hard in his mind, but now I'm telling myself I'm playing a game of darts and it's taken so much pressure off of me. So. I've learned from Gary Anderson as well that he said, I've got no worries on my mind. And boy, does he play amazing darts lately. I have been his victim already a few times this year. And I'm like, Gary, please back off. But 
he's amazing. He's lo he's loving playing on the pro tours, and you know what? We all can see it. We are all dead scared of Gary Anderson because we all know we can beat him. But at the end of the day, we can play 105 plus average, and we'll be still sitting as like, Demi, well done, great game, but go home. <laughs> so at the minute, I'm sitting here. I'm a winner. I'm enjoying playing a game of darts, and I will be doing the same thing tomorrow. I want to play a game of darts, and I want to enjoy it while I'm up there, because it ain't given to be in a quarterfinal at a major just like that. So thank you. Demetra, huge well done. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys.